Hi hey there, I know it's been a little while since I last did a video, but I've actually been working on several. This one is going to be specifically on your air to fuel mixture ratio gauge, air fuel ratio gauge. Um, I got one a while back, and I've just been putting off installing it, and putting off installing it, and putting off installing it, just ultimately because I've been lazy. Um, the video for the math sensor is coming, I'm still working on it, I'm still editing it, but it should be up by next weekend, by this weekend I should say. So I'm going to walk you all through how to install an air fuel, air fuel ratio gauge on your car. So I'm going to turn the camera around here. See my normal, we've got the boost cage, SOC2, speedometer doesn't even work. Um, oil pressure sen sensor, psychometer, and now I've got this new one down here which is your air fuel ratio gauge and it's, it's nothing fancy, it's nothing, um, it's actually quite a cheap one. I just got it from a car parts store. But it's, it's pretty easy to wire up. Um, I apologise because it is a bit cold. It's been warm for the last week and now it's unfortunately unbearably cold. But, um, let's shift it out of the way here. Get all it's quite a bit cold. But, um, you've got four wires in it, four of them. Right, you've got red, white, black and green. Red and white are both power sources. One's for the light inside of the device, and one's just ultimately, I'm uh, sorry, it's not very well fastened in there, and one is ultimately just for power. Uh, red, I think, is just ideally for power, and white is uh, for your lights. You're supposed to wire red up into uh, your ignition, and white to your headlight switch, but who honestly does that? That's a lot of work. So all I've done is, uh, all my gauges up here actually, with the exception of, exception of the SAFC2, all wired off this, my, my uh, cigarette lighter. Um, I've basically, I've sp if, you, if I pulled all this out, which I'm not going to do, I've got an extended wires, which are these green and brown wire down here, green being power and brown being, being ground. Um, they come down off that hot circuit, which of course is hot like say for example right now you can see it's hot but it doesn't stay on the whole time which is convenient because I don't want my gauges to stay on the whole time so I splice the red and white wires to the power wire on this one that gives it power as long as the keys turned on which is good and it gives it light all the time you don't have to worry about you know the lights coming on when you turn on your headlights it doesn't make a difference I think it might extend the life of the bulb, but that's not really that important to me. Um, sorry, I got a bit of a smudge there, but anyway, sorry. Um, the black wire, obviously, of course, is going to be your ground. So I just grounded it to the ground source, the brown wire. And the green wire, which you can see running along here on the side, is actually your signal. And it's not actually hooked up at the moment because I'm just basically quite lazy about it. But this is the actual wire coming off of the uh, gauge. And this is a wire that I've one run through the firewall and the other end's actually in the engine bay. And I tried to hook it up one night and uh, basically I got absolutely no signal. Which is because I hadn't hooked it up uh, post O2 sensor. I'd actually just spliced onto the O2 sensor wire. It's really fogging up on this thing here today. Um, I'd spliced it uh, directly to the O2 sensor, not a uh, pre-connector, which uh, it's shielded, so it's not going to get a reading, as opposed to post-connector. So once I actually get the time and run everything, I'll actually have it hooked up. But you can see, as we go for a minute, I'll unplug that. Basically, the only reading I've got right now is incredibly rich because there's no reading at all, and it's just a high and a low impedance um, circuit. Uh, low obviously is is lean, and I think what high would be rich or vice versa. But it's, since it's got no resistance to it and no power to it, I guess it just reads it as being incredibly rich. When I do actually hook it up, I'll show you. 
it'll probably be between ideal and rich because I know at some point it is tuned richer at low end. Never at any point should you ever see red come out on this thing in my car. So I can prove that with the SAFC2 settings that I've given everybody that it is in fact ideal. So that's just a little short intro video about how to hook that up. Obviously you can place it wherever you want. It's, it's pretty easy to wire up. It just you actually have to take the time to do it. So cheers.